Tech Team makes double wire clamps in five different sizes. Our smallest clamp, which is number 859, ranges from uh, 1 and 3 8 inch or 37 millimeters up to 1 and 5 8 inch, which is 42 millimeters. Our largest clamp, which is our number 863, ranges in size from 143 millimeters, which is 5 and 5 8 inches, up to 150 millimeters, which is 5 and 7 8 inches. Generally speaking, one of the five sizes of clamp that we make will fit most common applications. All right, so the question that has to be going through your mind now is, what's so great about a double wire clamp, and where should I use one? Here we have a two by inch and a half reducing collar that's commonly used in plumbing applications on both the drainage side and also on the ventilation side. The question has to be, why is this supplied with gear clamps rather than double wire clamps? Gear clamps are inexpensive, and most of the time they'll work well enough to get the job done. If you really want to do the job right, what you'll do is you'll step up to a double wire clamp. We're going to tighten this gear clamp down and then we're going to show you what the difference is. What you see is that as we tighten this clamp, the end of the tube begins to deform. When we get it nice and snug, which of course is what you want to get a good seal, you'll see that the opening has become distorted and there's a little pressure bulge right here underneath where the screw mechanism is. We have the gear cuts here and what they do is they're able to cut into the soft material of the hose or tube and then you can't get a uniform draw of the clamp all the way around it to apply uniform pressure. The lack of uniform pressure of course creates an opportunity for leakage. We also have no idea what type of tubing this is going to go over. Could be plastic, could be copper, could be old, could be new. And what we don't want is to have a pressure point like this. Now by comparison, we put a double wire clamp on there and we tighten that guy down and we can get it good and tight. And what do we find? The end of the tube is perfectly round. Since the wires of the clamp go around the entire circumference of the tube, it draws uniformly and applies uniform pressure around the entire circumference. This way you can feel comfortable that you're not going to get any leakage. Here we have the flexible type of tube that you'd normally see on a uh, typical clothes dryer vent. We don't have a clothes dryer up here on the table, but this is typically what you're going to see coming out of the back end of the dryer. The end of that tube is crenellated like this to slightly reduce its diameter so it can fit into the end of the other tube, just like this. You don't want these tubes to separate because what happens then, of course, is that excess humidity gets into your home. The solution is to clamp the two pieces together. Some people will use a couple sheet metal screws to hold this together, but that's a really bad idea because what it can do is trap lint that then becomes a fire hazard. Now we get this a little bit snug, not too tight. We don't want to damage anything. What we have here is a good, tight, secure connection. The reason, of course, is because we have two wires that go around the circumference, pull uniformly, and apply uniform force all the way around. And this is exactly what we want to get a good, tight, mechanical seal. You may have noticed we're using a number two Phillips screwdriver to tighten this. You could also use a drive bit or a socket. Tech Team's double wire clamps are made from carbon steel with a two-step process to finish them. The first step is a sacrificial zinc plating. Then the second part of the process is a chromate finish, which is also applied by plating, and that gives us this yellowish, goldish color, and that finish protects the zinc finish that's under it. So it's double protection against rust or corrosion.